What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the NFL Draft Round 1. And we're going to talk about every pick and who we think had the best round of the first round. Caleb Williams to the Bears, quarterback, which position they just got rid of, and Justin Fields. I mean, I think Caleb Williams uh, is a good quarterback, but he might not have an off year with the Bears O-line because they didn't draft any O-linemen, which is not surprising. The Bears don't make the greatest decisions. Yeah. I think that Caleb Williams is going to be a good quarterback someday if he can get out of Chicago. All right, now Washington Commanders Jaden or Jaden, yeah, Jaden McDaniel, Jaden Daniels, quarterback out of LSU. They just picked up Austin Eckler and a bunch of other weapons for him to use. So I feel like they can build that O line. Same problem with the Bears. They can build that O line. He'll be a better quarterback than Caleb because he is more athletic than Caleb. Let's change things up here. Um, what? Who do you think was the best quarterback drafted in the first round? My opinion is Jaden Daniels. I know that's probably going to get a lot of hate because everyone's saying Caleb Williams is the guy, but I don't think so. I think Drake May is going to be the guy. Drake May? Yeah, I think J.J. McCarthy is going to go to Minnesota Vikings and then be like every other quarterback. He's already in Minnesota Vikings. What? He, already got, he got drafted by the Vikings. Right, well, I think that once he, like, starts playing there, he's kind of going to fall off, but you never know. Maybe he could still be good. Yeah. Uh, the New England Patriots select Drake May, third quarterback of North Carolina. And the New England Patriots just traded Mac Jones. They have Bailey Zappi, who isn't great. And they have no weapons for him. They just lost Ezekiel Elliott. Their best receiver is Juju Smith-Schuster. That's saying a lot. All right. The Arizona Cardinals drafted Marvin Harrison Jr., a wide receiver out of Ohio State. That's a good pick because they have Kyler Murray, who is a great quarterback. Who do you think is going to be the best wide receiver? And we'll talk about who my pick is here in a few seconds. Right. Um, what do you got? The Los Angeles Chargers selecting Joe Alt out of Notre Dame. He's a tackle. Yeah. He is what they needed. Other than receivers, they need receivers. Their best receiver is Quentin Johnson, Johnson, and he can't catch a ball to save his life, as we saw last year against the Chiefs. And the Chiefs' defense was terrible that day. Now, who my pick is for the best receiver in the draft, Malik Neighbors. He is a great all-around player. He was drafted straight out of LSU to the New York Giants, which is pretty bad. He doesn't even know who his quarterback is. And, you know, he is that good receiver of a good receiver that they might have to double him each play. Yeah. And they're going to have to watch him at all, at all times. Yeah. I think that um, probably Marvin Harrison Jr. I'm just going to take the – I don't know. I just feel like with him going to the Cardinals, maybe, you know, Kyler Murray and him can – Get something done. Spice some things up. Yeah, because they also don't have uh, – one of the fast receivers in Marquise Brown anymore. He went to Kansas City, of course. That yeah. means. Um. Pick seven. We have offensive tackle J.C. Lantham to the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee just got Tony Pollard to be their running back. They have D. Hop. They have Will Levis on that offense. Uh, other than that, I don't really know who else they have. Corey Davis, I guess. If he's still there. I think that, yeah, it's just going to be the Tennessee Titans again. Yeah, same thing as last year, just without Derrick Henry. I think that, uh, well, with the eighth pick, it's Atlanta Falcons selecting Michael Penix Jr. for a quarterback out of Washington. That's a bad pick. That one's a bad pick in round in the first round. Yeah. Because they just paid Kirk Thuggins uh, $180 million for a four-year term. So, he, yeah. what, he's just going to sit behind Kirk the entire time? But, you never like, Michael Penix Jr. could also learn something from Kirk while they're sitting there playing, you know. So, even while, like, he's not going to be playing, he can still learn a lot of things from a good vet like Kirk. 
So he's going to do the same thing that Jordan Love did with Aaron Rodgers? Kind of, but he won't be as good as Jordan Love, of course. Take nine, Bear select, Rome O'Dunz, wide receiver out of Washington. He's a solid receiver. He's a solid all-around guy. He's fast. He's tall. But I don't know if they need receivers right now because they just picked up a bunch of guys like mm -hmm. Keenan Allen and I don't even know who all they picked up with how many people they, they've they made trades for. Yeah. They um, made a complete rebuild in about a month. Yeah. With the... Uh, um, Tenth pick. Tenth pick. Well, also, going back to the Bears, they just drafted... Uh, Caleb Williams. So a good wide receiver could maybe help him out a little bit. Yeah. And, you know, maybe, I don't know, they'll start a, both being rookies, they'll be a good duo, I guess. Now for the 10th pick, the Minnesota Vikings, J.J. McCarthy, out of quarter, or a quarterback out of Michigan. That one is a mid-pick. He's not great. He's not terrible. He's right in between. The Vikings quarterback right now, other than J.J. McCarthy, is a Sam Darnold, the ghost of Sam Darnold. He's not doing nothing. If you're me, I'm going to say, so if you're going to, like, I think that they should have picked up someone that wasn't a quarterback because they just keep drafting these quarterbacks that are, like, mid. just, like, either they're, okay or they're just terrible or they're really good for some day some days and then they're just terrible the next day so then yeah. jj mccarthy i would have picked someone different being the vikings instead of another quarterback but i guess whatever uh the 11th pick we have the new york Jets selecting olo fashuna fashunu apologize if i had that pronounced wrong offensive tackle at pounds uh penn state uh, they have Aaron Rodgers in the backfield with Garrett Wilson, the main target, and Brees Hall. So they need as much offensive lineman as they possibly can yeah. get. I think that he's going to help out their team quite a bit with their line. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, their line isn't the greatest. It's okay. Yeah. But I feel like they can make it work with this pick. All right. With the next pick, we have the Denver Broncos selecting Bo Nix, a quarterback out of Oregon. That one. See, every time they've drafted a quarterback since they drafted uh, John Elway, they have had mid picks, and they've made mid decisions with their quarterback. Like they paid two hundred seventy million to Russell. Mm -hmm. To do absolutely nothing. Russell Wilson did absolutely nothing. He was bad, made a bunch of memes his first year. They, they bring in Sean Payton, and, you know, he changes a little bit. You know, he's back to whatever year. Normal Russ. Yeah, back to normal Russ. And he had a rough start to the season. But now Bo Nix doesn't have Jerry Judy because they went ahead and traded him to the Browns. And they, their best receiver is Cortland Sutton. He's not terrible. He's not great. He's not one of the best. You, when you think of the best wide receivers, you don't think of them right away. Yeah. All right. All right with a 12th, uh, 13th pick, Las Vegas Raiders, Brock Bowler's tight end out of Georgia. And he's a great. I mean, it, Las Vegas, they need – he's a good pick for them. Yeah, they need weapons. Like, they can't just keep throwing it to uh, Vontae and yeah. Myers. It's going to get old. Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers is a good, good – it, there, he's good. Yeah. He's a talented, like, all around. He's, like, just a strong player, I feel like. I had him on my, um, fantasy, right? my fantasy team, and he was very, like, yeah. some week he'd score 34, and then the next week he'd score, like, two. But and now, when you have Devontae Adams on your team, it's kind of hard to get 34 consistently. And Brock Bowlers will be that help that they need without yeah. with them getting rid of Darren Waller this last season. With the 14th pick. New Orleans select, Tallahassee Fuegu, if that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong. Offensive tackle out of Oregon State. Saints need O-line. Mm -hmm. Like, most of their linemen are getting old. They're not working as much as they used to, and they don't really have a backfield. Or they have, like, their best receiver is Chris Olave, and he's not great. Yeah. He's good. He's not great. 
That's most I can say about them. All right, the 15th pick. 15th pick, Indianapolis Colts select Leotu Latu and Edge out of UCLA. I have, I think that he's pretty good. I don't really, I don't know. I just see they need edges. Like they uh, don't have a great D line. Their best player is a Forrest Buckner on that D line, and as we've seen, he's getting old. He's still putting up big numbers. But they just need more help around him. Mm-hmm. He can't do everything. 16th pick, the Seattle Seahawks select Byron Murphy, a defensive line out of Texas. That's a good pick, honestly. Mm-hmm. They have a solid corner core. They have solid safeties. Okay middle linebackers. They're the, not the worst, not the best. And then their D-line just consists of uh, Leonard. Yeah. yeah. They can't really do much. So they need to get as much pressure as possible. 17th pick, we're back to the Vikings. Dallas Turner, Mm -hmm. edge out of Alabama. They're trying to apply as much pressure to any quarterback they can get. He was one of the best edges to get this year, and they went ahead and got him. And I feel like with that defense, they can have a solid year. Mm -hmm. Right outside linebacker for them, be everything, because they just got rid of Delaney Hunter. All right, 18th pick. Cincinnati Bengals, Amarus Mims, offensive tackle in Georgia. Georgia has a lot of offensive tackles that have made it to the league mm-hmm. this season. Cincinnati Bengals do need tackles. They need everything on the O-line. And they're getting rid of T. Higgins. They're getting Zach Moss as a running back now. Um, Joe Burrow can't get everything done himself. Him and Jamar can't carry that team, so they need as much help as possible on that offense. Let's just stop at 20, goes. Uh, the night. 19th pick, Los Angeles Rams select Gerard Verse, defensive end out of Florida State. He is a monster on that defense. He is great. He doesn't have any flaws. He's one of the people you can think of when you think of uh, Florida State right now. Mm-hmm. And now the Rams got him with Aaron Donald retiring. They're going to need him. Yeah. And uh, now for the last one that we're going to be doing the day, today. The Pittsburgh Steelers selected Troy Fatanu out of uh, offensive tackle. Washington. Out of Washington. You know, Pittsburgh. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers. They will make a winning. They will make a winning year any year. Like they'll make it in the play-in. I promise you that they'll make it in the play-in. They do it every year, but this year they're led by Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. So you know, it's whatever. All right. Well, we'll see you next week. Thank you.